Hello dear students. Today we will be starting with C++. This is the first video. Here I am considering that you are already familiar with C programming. And if you are not familiar with C programming, my request you to learn first C programming and then start learning C++ or start watching these videos. C programming we start with hash include less than sign io stream dot h then main program we start with void main open bracket close bracket then open curly bracket and close curly bracket now in this open curly bracket and close curly bracket we write our code here C++ is called as a object oriented programming system because in main program everything we write with the help of object so instead of declaring the variables we declare the objects and this object we create from a class so this is a class name in c programming we declare the variables and we write the program for those variables but here instead of variable we declare the object and that object we create from a class now this class we have to create so we create class from reserved class everything is small so here class starts with reserved class and then we can give any name to the class but we don't use reserve words don't give blank space between the class name then open curly bracket close curly bracket and semicolon here we have to give close curly bracket and semicolon which indicates end of the class this class name whatever we have given this class name must match with this class name now here i have given c and n as a capital if your class name is of single word then you can give that word directly by giving first letter as a capital now my dear students this is not compulsory that you have to use capital letter but as a standard convention in a software industry whenever you want to give any class name the first letter we give it as a capital letter if you want to give class name with multiple characters sorry multiple words then every words first character you give it as a capital like here i have given c and n as a capital now what we can write into this class in this class we can declare variables just like c programming variables and we can write functions to operate on these variables maybe read the value do some calculation or display value whatever it is you can write those programs into the functions these variables and functions they are present within a class so we call them as a member variables 
and member functions so your class consists of member variables and member functions these variables and functions they are present within a class that's why they call it the member variables or member functions or some time we call this as a methods also generally this methods word we used in java but you will get this words in some books or some videos that the functions which we have written within a class those are considered as a methods but i prefer to consider here member functions okay so this is regarding the overall structure of your c++ that is object oriented programming system now for example i will take here first example and then we will discuss why this object oriented programming system comes in a picture so first of all we start with hash include less than sign io stream dot h io stream dot h then i am starting class with reserved class and then i am giving class name as maths m i am giving as a capital open curly bracket now i am declaring here variables integer n1 comma n2 comma sum and float avg i want to read value for n1 and n2 i want to calculate sum and average and then i want to display sum and average okay to read the value i want to read value for n1 and n2 in c programming we use scanf instead of scanf here we use cin cin is used to read the value then greater than greater than sign n1 greater than greater than sign n2 so this indicates read first number for n1 second number for n2 then sum is equal to n1 plus n2 and then average is equal to sum divided by 2.0 generally before any input statement we use output statement here we use c out as output statement just to indicate what we are expecting so i am using less than less than slash n then i can give here input any two numbers this is not compulsory but if you are familiar with c programming then generally before scanf statement we put printf statement so here in c++ before input statement seen we put the output statement so this indicates read value for n1 and n2 this indicates calculate sum this indicates calculate average and to display the sum and average we take help of a c out statement slash n addition equal to sum and then average is equal to avg close curly bracket semicolon now as we have discussed here your class consists of member variables but here we have member variables and class consists of member functions but here we have written statements directly writing program into class is not allowed this class must be part of some, this program sorry this statements which we have written this statements must be part of some function so i am putting this into the function 
void all open bracket close bracket okay void all void is a part of function because we are not returning any value that's why i told you that if you are if you don't know c programming then learning c++ is difficult because this basic concept i am not teaching here i am considering that you are familiar with all the c programming concepts and then i am continuing this video so now this class indicates name of a class is your maths in which we have n1 n2 sum and average as a member variables and all as a member function then we write main program after this we write the main program so i am writing here main program void main open bracket close bracket open curly bracket and close curly bracket to indicate the end of the main program so from the class the class name is maths and we create object as m so m is a object which is created from a maths class so whenever this statement is created your compiler will create one object m and in which it will create member variables n1 n2 sum and average now i want to read value for n1 and n2 i want to calculate sum and average and i want to display sum and average now this everything that is read value for n1 and n2 calculate sum and average and display sum and average this everything is present within this member function all so if i execute this member function all my purpose will be solved in c programming to execute any function we write the function name in c programming to execute any function we write the function name but here we don't have this all function no doubt this all function is present here but it is a part of your class maths it is a part of your class maths so whenever you want to call any member function which is present within a class outside of the class this class starts here and it ends here so any member function if you want to call outside of the class then there are certain things which we have to include within a program whenever you want to call any member function or any member variable of a class outside of a class then we have to give its scope as a public colon there are four scope detail we will check one by one afterwards as we go on progressing the learning of c++ we will check all the scope there are four scopes private public protected and friend when we don't mention anything the scope is considered as a private and private member function and private member variable we cannot access outside of the class but when you want to access any member function or any member variable outside of the class that scope we have to give as a public this is the first step or this is the first part which we have to include within a class and second is whenever you want to call any member function whose scope is public whose scope is public then we have to take help of the object which we have created from that class now here we have created object m so we have to give here m dot all this indicates go to execute all member function with respect to m now when this statement is compiling compiler checks where this all member function is present this all member function is present within a maths class then it will check whether m 
is a object of maths class both is matching m is a object of maths class and all is a member function of maths class no problem then it will check whether we can access this all member function outside of the class here we have mentioned public colon that means we are allowing this all member function to call outside of this class so this is a lot now this compiles now when we execute a program compiler always starts with mean it creates a object like this and then it will execute this statement m dot all it goes to execute all member function with respect to m now first of all it executes c out just like a printf statement it gives you input any two numbers then c in statement c in statement gives you blinking cursor with blinking cursor if you input two values number 10 and number 20 10 is given to n1 20 is given to n2 but this n1 and n2 it compulsory considers from m because we are calling this all member function with m so it will give value 10 to n1 of m 20 to n2 of m then sum equal to n1 plus n2 this sum n1 n2 is everything is considered from m because we are calling all member function with respect to m so it will calculate sum then it will calculate average it will calculate average and it will display addition equal to 30 and average is equal to on next line it will give you average equal to 5.0 end of the member function it comes back to the calling program then it comes here that is end of the program so it will give you addition equal to 30 and average equal to 15 just like your C programming okay so this is a first simple program of object oriented programming system now in next video we will check why this object oriented programming system concept comes in a picture because this everything we can do in C programming if this everything we are doing into the C programming then why this C++ comes in a picture so my dear student if you like this video then subscribe my channel so that whenever I add further videos of C++ you will get notification thank you thank you very much